Hey there, it's James once again, and today I have built an interesting contraption once again. And this one's called the Parendev motor, but it's technically not a motor because it doesn't produce any power at all. Um, I did produce a smaller variant in the past, but some people criticized that, so I went to a bigger model from the mind of Tesla. And this will probably never work because the magnets on the perimeter of the rotor are always interfering with the next magnet. So it can actually not rotate unless you're constantly changing the magnetic field of these perimeter magnets. One may ask, well, can you use electromagnetic coils with Hall sensors? And that might be a possibility along with new metal, but once again, you have to input power into the system. So very unlikely that this will break the law of thermodynamics and actually run. But nevertheless, it's a very interesting contraption and it was fun to build. A really good way to break this down and make it simple is to take one magnet and see what it does against the rotor. And as you see here, the magnet only shifts the rotor. It doesn't actually push the magnet because it's interfering with the other magnetic field of the next magnet. But if I do move the magnet, similar to an electromagnetic coil, the rotor will actually rotate, but this also means that I have to input energy into the system. Now, of course, I didn't trust the basic design, so I even tried different configurations with the rotor magnets, even making haulback arrays with them. And unfortunately, I still came up with the same result. One of the first perpetual magnetic machines stemmed back to 1269, and it was drawn by Petrus de Maricourt. John Wilkins further advanced this design in 1670 with a ramp single configuration. However, the free energy machine idea never went away, and several patents were filed in the past decade, with Mike Brady forming the parent of group. There is still a lot of dispute on what is the proper design, but what I will have to say is that with the amount of startup torque and vibration, this motor is definitely not a source of free energy. Having said that, I have come across a couple of really interesting permanent magnet devices, including the David LaPointe array. So even though I don't believe these free energy machines work, there could be some other type of discovery made with these types of machines. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.